We've also got a train in here. Pythia and Train, who are you guys rooting for? Train, this is Trowball for you. Just Naz will be in here to join, join us in a second. I think we all want to see a good game. Win-win. No matter what, we're all winners. Nothing much. Just here for a good NLTP game. Except for Black Sky. He is there for Soviets. He doesn't care about a good game. He just wants a crushing victory for the communists. I'd be fine with that as well. You have to forgive me if I show a little bias. Um, I am a captain after all. Oh yeah, no doubt. <laughs> As a objective member of the press here, I can't really root for one side. I, although I usually root for the team with the best logo. Serious so bad. Train, also showing his communist tendencies. Somebody call Joe McCarthy. The all-important power-up scramble. It looks like... Alright, Nikram Yoga playing solo D against Arrow. Cran Apple doing some great button work. And the difference between great button work and bad button work is really hard to determine sometimes. You, after all, you are just kind of standing there. I'd argue that that's, that's not very good button work though there to abandon in hopes of a snipe. And now we've got a uh, mumble jumble in the middle, a bunch of people looking for that button. Yep, it's a good thing Mojo's staying around. He's taking the laps. Oh, Nikram Yoga lets him through. Always risky to go through that mid because the other side can cancel it out. Absolutely. You like to see it done, it gives you a few options, but it doesn't always happen that way. Oh. Ooh, Mojo oh, Mojo almost dies twice. Like I'm Arnold sure Schwarzenegger. Alright, he does pick up a rolling bomb. And he keeps it intact. I am a god running around. They've got that tag pro though. To see what they can do. It's ran out. Mojo oh, there. Can he get the blocks? Yes! There we go. Why not think Soviets? I'm a god giving Cranapple a hard time. Lifts on that boost right there, but there's a multitude of people and Mojo will take him down. I am god. There for the re-grab. Looks like he's going bottom left. Back himself into a corner, but they'll uh, not get out. Mojo cuts some off. Mojo looking pretty impressive so far with a couple nice returns and a good hold. He picks up a tag, tag pro. Throw. Let's see what he can and do. Oh, he gets grab. right into the flag. Some man seven gets the opening. Oh, it's close. Brand Apple one v four. See how long he can hold him off for. Oh, not even long enough. And we got a tie game. Mojo with a nice pickup. Oh, and he gets spawned on. 
hate when that happens. Yeah, definitely some professional grabs by the Soviets there in that sequence. Oh, I'm God. And Mortal kind God. Of bottom left tank coach been sitting there for quite some time. See what some man seven chooses to do about it. Oh, yep, you can see him change his flight path accordingly. Mojo needs to wait up for his health there. Yep. Might have both legs out of base in a sec. PB doing a good job blocking him out. Mojo does get the grab. Some man seven. Mojo maybe just misses a tag pro there, maybe leaves it for some man seven. Oh, but the other team gets it. Oh, oh no, Nikram Yoga. Tactical error there led to another cap. And then they let him get a tag pro too. It was a good start, but uh operational Patrick Office responded very well to that first cap. Got another man freed, Nikram. Soviet ballers seeming seeming to play a very button-oriented strategy. Seeing their D just go down to one D to keep somebody on the button. Let's see what Mojo can do here to stay alive. Right. Oh, and he finally gets caught. Got a full return. Got another tech for saying bot left. It looks like I'm got to spot that pick it up. Goes. Red working on trying to get a grab here. Some man seven sees a Roman bomb, goes for it. If he can get it in a base. Oh, he gets defused. Alright, Cran Apple. Using Nikram for it there. Oh no. We've got a player down, Nikram Yoga. Apparently was late to his yoga class and took off. All right, they're calling for the DJ subbed in. Now, if he was kicked for AFK, that would be hilarious. Sometimes the difference between uh, good button work and bad button work is hard to define. Some man seven with the grab. Oh, and he gets a kiss. A little bit higher there, and he might have stayed alive. Here we go, DJ's in the game, so... No cap during that, uh, maybe four period that worked out as well. Yeah, on the power plays like that, you want to take advantage of them as much as you can. Grand Apple with a nice a button hold. Yep, DJ Khaled, not quite in blocking position. Some man seven wisely takes a lap. Oh, but he's getting chased by making Bacon, who's got that juke juice. See, looks like he's gonna give it another try here. Oh, but there's a tag pro. That's gonna be a hard one to get past. Mojo's got a rolling bomb and he's free all the time in the world. He hasn't seen a blue player for about 10 seconds now. That's through. Oh my god, that should be cap. Something needs to make a move. But I have got to obviously I'll just run around a bit to give his team some time. The Soviet ballers are gonna, I think they're gonna have a harder time in general getting the return if they keep allocating people towards the button, but that opens up uh, so many more opportunities for you. It's interesting to see. They're definitely following a game plan. DJ not straying too far from the button. Got a tag pro bottom left. Making Bacon stays on pursuit though. Some man seven's been chasing God now for a long time, and he finally gets him. Grand Apple's got tag pro in base. Ah, oh, but couldn't quite. The flight carrier couldn't quite get over there. That looks like ball from that like uh, rolling bomb and a tag pro to go and pull it. No, I just saw the Soviet baller strategy pay off with two button passes for the guy who's grabbing the flag, then coming back. He was able to get through quick enough so that the other team couldn't reset, making it a much easier grab. Oh, some man. Unfortunate collision there. Ran Apple, abstaining the juke, abstinence. Always what they tell you to do. Not always the most fun thing. 
can't get that rolling bomb though. So I'm gonna boost him into the fly. Oh, he beats him at the button though. Oh, he got up in the corner. Oh man, seven. Mid. Um, the Soviet baller is poised to strike at any time, but the defense of Bacon and Zep 68 making it tough on him. Yeah, they've, uh, they've held up well to a lot of grabs that we've been fighting in. Um, not too many returns in this game. We've seen a lot of full time. I'm God approaching three minutes. Mojo approaching three minutes. All right, and they get the return there. DJ lets him through. Get a re-up on that juke juice. Looks like a 3D strategy almost, but I'm a god wise he doesn't fun out. Cran Apple having a hard time. Or not a hard time, he's doing really great 1v1, but as soon as that second guy comes in, yeah. then it, it's kind of a grab. But the advantage is now Cran Apple gets to be in front of him. You got a problem. They have a, they have a tag from the base. Cran needs to get him before he can come up. Oh, and a good block by Zeb. All it takes is a little bump there to spring, spring your flag carrier. Tag pro on the Soviet baller base. I am God. Makes a pick up. Grand Apple stays alive and is almost rewarded with a return. Mojo. He can beat him through mid here. Oh, yep. This looks and good for the Soviets. There we go. Great work, comrades. I'm Some man seven. Mid. They need a block. That's a block by Cran. Oh. oh. Really good play there by making bacon and sneaking on the crowd. Oh, Mojo. And yeah, that's sometimes. Go mid. Yeah, that's when it hurts to try to go mid. Usually gotta go to the one that will always stay your color. So, man, seven with a nice combo. Up. He sees that he's got enough space. Kran's doing the block. Oh, and the comrades come back to tie it with 15 seconds left. They can get that return. Oh, oh. The arrow with a really good snipe. That was nice. Looks like we're going to have a tied first half. Really exciting. A lot of hold time in that first half. It was really well played by both sides. Soviet ballers kind of living and dying by the button there. I saw many of their opportunities take advantage of that, and sometimes get it when they got shut down, it hurt. All right, I got to go talk to my team. I'll be back for the next half. All right. All right, Luke, move for the uh, mid-game huddle. There's a lot of different things you can say to your team at these uh, at these critical junctures. Some, I know, some tag pro players uh, do a lot of the yelling. Other people get pretty analytical. Sometimes they change players, change strats, but that's what makes this game exciting. Nikram Yoga back into the group. Right. We're going to go see if there's any strategic adjustments made, maybe some players thrown in. Great D by Balfa. It seemed like they had, they kept their flag in base pretty often. Biffy, liking some of the cinematics. Where does everybody keep getting this guy with his hands in the air? Does he have a name? If I wanted to find that graphic, where would I find it? I have no idea. As long as something's getting raised, we'll be forever a Tag Pro staple.
a lot of offense getting returns there. The right swing looks like Luke moves ready to come back in. Thank you. Just had to adjust some scenarios for a lie there. For the Soviet ballers there, they seem to play a very, uh, very cran apple dependent game. I see him making the crucial blocks 1v1 in the base. I see him playing 1v1D, trying to keep the flag in base. He's really got a lot on his shoulders. Like, of course, the Soviet proletariat. May have an issue here. What's going on, Luke? Um, we only have three people available right now. Okay. So hopefully we can sort this out quickly. Just an LTP problems. Not that we haven't seen this before. I don't know in recorded history if anybody's ever won a full half 3v4. Not something I'd like to play. I have heard of a 5v4 played on Koala with a 4 beat the 5. There we go. Right. That's hoping for a 4v3 to exponentially increase our chances, but you know, we'll get a good game out of it, so I'm happy. Commentators now, all they want is a good game. Of course. You know, I thought I thought Cranapple did a really good job with uh, the various tasks that he had to do. It was he, he has a lot on him because he's an O slash D player, so uh, you know he just adjusts his role to whatever we need, and he's he's very good at going with the flow of the game. Yep, he's definitely a key player to watch. Button strats continue. It's nice to have versatile players, too. Always. Some guys come in saying, oh, maybe O, maybe D, until you really find what you're good at and the chemistry. It can be kind of a rough ride, but it looks like Cran can transition. Yeah, it's always, it's always really nice to have that versatility, so in game, if you get caught up on O, like a rolling bomb or something, you can just go with it and have somebody fully capable to on D. Absolutely. Get you some much higher percentage grabs. Maybe Zeb playing some great D that game. Arrow with some key returns and I am God walking around, staying alive, doing what he needs to do. Not able to use the middle as much, but still making good use of his avenues. All right, we are back in the game. 10 seconds from start. We have an abundance of rolling bombs and juke juice. It's not a very tag pro to be found. Much like a pair of Levi's or uh, some nice Nikes in uh, Hungary in 1986. All right, couple rolling bombs coming in. The 
Balfus. Oh, they get a nice grab. Don't need to use though. I am God with the juke juice. Probably gonna run out shortly, but he's making the turn in. Returns oh, a cap. Oh man, it is. He was by his crap there. He thought he had the rolling, but ran out on it. Now there's a nagging thing in your head that wonders how long is this rolling gonna last? How long is this rolling gonna last? And it always, they always seem to go out at just the wrong time. Yes. Grand Apple getting back on D. Our first round of power ups is gonna be up in about 10 seconds. Let's see if, how people position for that. Nikram Yoga is gonna have a shot at the middle power up. I am God. He seems to want bottom right, and Cran can't really fight him for it. Arrow waiting bottom left. Some man seven. Picks up a rolling bomb, it's diffused. Nikram Yoga with a tag pro on the button. Pretty devastating combo. Some man seven wants to get in, but he sees he sees two people ahead of him. Oh, oh what? Kind. What a boost! Now oh, with the return right after, he must be feeling pretty good at the moment. Mojo got the re-grab right there, and he's in base with a chance. Oh, oh it's that bike. Just catches the wrong side of that wall. I am God deciding to fight for that button. That's some good support offense. Ooh, no, Nick gets him at the right time. So I, I, nice. That's a really good decision, though. I mean, so he's have just been controlling that button. Well, fighting for it'll go a long way. Wingman experiencing a ping explosion. Much like Chernobyl in, um, what was that, 88? A minor scale meltdown. God gets out of the corner. Oh, it's turned around on. Daryl with a nice grab. Turning the corner to base into Tag Pro to greet him. Nickram lets him through. Bacon makes the block, but some man seven is there to close it down. You know, I've been seeing uh, there are a lot of rolling bombs out. Wow. But uh, Altman, I thought, needs to do a better job on the V. They've been having a lot of situations with three, three invades, and it just hasn't worked out for them. Yep. Arrow gets another nice grab after fighting for the, for the power up. Let's see if he goes for this rolling bomb. He does. And he's able to get out, out with it intact. Mojo staying alive, hanging out in the middle. He knows he's got to stall. When the enemy flag carrier's got a rolling bomb, you know, you got to stay alive for a little while. You know, pick up another one there. Fan Apple does manage to get it. Ooh, Mojo might have boosted past his intended target. It's returned. Some in seven with another return. Thank you. Hey, how's it going, Dads? Not too bad. How are you, Joe Ball? Doing well, doing well. We hate totally tied up game right now. 4-4 four, four aggregate. I am God. Gets a grab. It's anybody's ball game right now. Much like the Miracle on Ice hockey game. Well, I guess the Russians were favored in that one. Oh, and a triple block put on Mojo. I am God gets the cap. Yeah, some more uh, ill advice for having by the Soviet there. Led to, led to three on one in there. And you pretty much never know when that. Arrow's got a juke juice with a one on one, one chance, and he's able to make a grab of. Oh, he's got a free shot. Oh, what? That is some great support offense. I am God basically earns himself a cap there, even though it doesn't go on his stats. He destroyed the middle and disrupted that button strategy that the ballers work so hard on. I am God just barely gets out left side. He's coming into base. Maybe an ill advised grab right there by Mojo, he better get back quickly. Oh, and a double kill. What a rolling bomb by making bacon. Somebody was gonna make use of these things. Grand Apple finding himself on offense. And some man seven with another crucial return. It is three cap ups that size of the that they're gonna have to make up. A lot of work in the middle there by the Soviet ballers. I'm liking it. 
What it does is it get it gives them more chances and it makes their chances better. But it you are right on Grand. Yep. We've had to play that one D one D quite a bit. Yep. Nick Romioga had a possible snipe opportunity, doesn't take it, but allows his other teammates to get through, get, get an opportunity. Brand, not grabbing, still staying in front of his man Arrow. Arrow, looking for an opportunity. He's got three to beat. See if he's going to be uh, careful and set up a re-grab for his other teammate. Uh, nope, and nothing comes of it. What? Who would have guessed another rolling bomb has spawned? God. I'm gonna have a chance here. Arrow wisely messing up the middle, keeping three on the other side. This looks really good for I Am God. And they do convert on it. I've seen Balfa disrupt the button when it comes time for it, and they've done a pretty good job of it. I am God, has to clear out. Mojo, an experienced flag carrier here. Ooh, return for cap for him. But he's going to have to circle back around. Ooh, and he can only juke so many. Some man seven points for the regram. Oh, it's gonna be pretty crucial that some man seven stays alive here. Oh, and he gets a kiss out of it. Grand Apple with juke, juke's got some off, so some man seven can get the return. Patiently waiting there for Nicromioga to get there. Oh, Joe. Maybe an ill advised grab at the flag pro there. Nicromioga. That's what a one. That's what a good one D situation looks like. Oh, an Two arrow. Pros and they couldn't get anything out of it. That's a bad situation. Yeah, that's a little disheartening. <laughs> He got through middle just the way he wanted to, and uh, Arrow just found himself in the right place to slow him down. Classic corner D strats. I Am God gets it just in time for Arrow to get through. They've got three beats. Let's see if Sun Man 7 can pull out another classic maneuver. Oh, so close. He got the grab there. That could have been one. Grand Apple there for D, unfortunately, kind of bumps into his own guy. The Soviets giving up for some free grabs. In colors, it hurts. Not as much as some, but feel you'd like to hang on to it. I am God picking up a rolling bomb. Some man seven knows that he should stay alive for a while now. All right, Mojo. It's his return. All right, we've got a reset with one minute left. See if anybody has it in him uh, for another go. I am God grabbing a juke juice up top right. He's dangerous with those on offense. Now they got a 2v1 isolated on D. So man seven kills a couple. Mojo with a nice grab. He's free. Oh, but Arrow just gets it. It's let me tell you, it's hard to stop a guy, a determined offensive player with Tag Pro. Grabbing the flag. The worst way it happens is when they kill you and then grab the flag and they're gone. You are left not even in their dust, because the dust is settled by the time you have an opportunity. Bacon Bacon setting up for a re grab, and all right, a scoreless last couple minutes. I am God ending up with four captures, five returns. Some man seven, the capture seven returns. 
Brian Apple never, didn't get a grab, didn't show his offensive potential right there. He's have been making Bacon doing a great job on D, keeping the flag in base for their offense. We've got another, another opportunity for the teams to coalesce. Oh, is the, is the half over? <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, a goop link. All right, you're not, you're not on your own anymore, Chobal. By the way, hats off for uh, properly saying Nikram Yoga. Oh, yeah. So many times during the draft, I heard people say Nikram Yoga or something. And, uh, oh, no, no, it just it just rhymes with Bikram. Your classic exactly. Uh, yoga. Exactly. I don't know where the rest of these tag pro players have been, but that yoga classes isn't it. I just googled Bikram Yoga because I had nothing to do sitting in the channel without the stream link. Sorry, mm -hmm. the group link. And it turns out the... Uh, the founder of Bikram Yoga System was a Indian national yoga champion. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't know they had yoga competitions. Oh, heck yeah. They take, How is that a thing? They take yoga very seriously. Have you ever seen a 3,000 person yoga event? How do you judge yoga? I'd imagine you just hold the pose for a while and just try to look good doing it. So they time... <laughs> The time, how much time you can hold the pose, is that it? Um, I think it's more the grace you can hold in it. I mean, how can you have ballet competitions, but they do. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. But you're not really moving doing yoga, you're just sitting there. Ballet, there's movement and stuff. I don't know, I don't know. True, maybe it's the absence of, you know, if you're holding your leg up for a long time, it tends to waver, so maybe they measure how much you get wavering. Besides, right. it's deeper than that. It's not just the uh, the exercise. Although he's quite a controversial figure, if you ever look into him. <laughs> are you being sarcastic, or have you actually looked up Bikram? Oh no, <laughs> the uh, creator of yoga. Uh, being a white American uh, progressive, talking with women of my similar vocation and uh, personality, uh, you hear quite a bit about Mr. Bikram. <laughs> Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> Everybody, let's raise our swing. <laughs> how does the uh, how does the Soviet Ballers logo look in stream? By the way, I noticed there was a slight white trim around it when um, when it was finalized a couple days ago. Uh, it looks perfectly transparent now. You can see the hammer, the sickle, assorted power ups. Nice. Good job, and swing. Oh, a lot of white on the. Body find one. Alpha taking the first game. See what we have in score for the second one. How close are they? Okay, so we're going into the second game right now. No rights. Yep, going into the second game. Just about to start off. Looks like uh, Turd Ferguson is coming in for the Soviet Ballers. He replaces um, Mr. Yoga. From yoga. Who also, also when he was having leg issues, DJ Khaled came in, and if I try to tell the difference between DJ and Nikram Yoga, I couldn't because they were both playing button strats. Has anyone attempted the uh, the troll ball boost yet? Yes, that's that's what we're calling it now, by the way. Oh God. Let's see. Uh, I don't know if I've seen it lately on Colors this week. That is a very fun boost. Way to catch. Great way to catch the uh, opponents unaware. Much like We've got our, the our collapse of the Soviet Union. Starting up here. Okay. Oh, we're playing on Sphere, aren't we? Terrible. Terrible server. Yeah, once again, I'd like to apologize to uh, Luke Moo for uh, messing up the server on which we were supposed to play in our week one matchup. Did you bring down the whole server, Nats? No. But uh, Tag Reflex my team is a pie team. Uh -huh. Luke's team is a Sentra team. And uh, the rules dictate that in that situation, Pyre versus Sentra, the game should be played on Spear. Which we oh. didn't do. We played on Origin. Oh, okay. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> so. Sounds like a compromise a... that nobody's ever going to be happy with. 
worked out. We won the last one. We all did. Did you win on your home and lose on your away? Uh, no, the whole thing was on Origin. So. Oh, okay. And uh, this, this season, Soviet Ballers have never won the first game in a match and never lost the second game. Interesting. Interesting trend we have going. Very wow. interesting. So we, uh, we lost that first game again, so we, we better help to win the second one or my team will kill my wrath. So. <laughs> Can't break the tradition. You know, the taller pres no. presidential candidate has always won since, uh, I don't know, what? over Cleveland or something. Seriously? True. It, for American presidential elections, tallest candidate wins. Three, two, one. That's a good way to not waste your vote. Vote for the tall guy. We have no. a lot of tag pros out on the map. Whole five and only one ruling bomb, so. Wow. There'll be a lot of wow. four here. Four tag pros for the Soviet ballers. Stark contrast to that, I believe that one half where there were no tech pros out. Yeah, it was incredible. It was rolling bomb after rolling bomb with the juke juice thrown in here and there. Oh, Mr. Joe doing a good job of staying around at base and not dying. And he's rewarded with a, with a handoff re-grab. He's got three blockers. Let's see what they give him. Oh, Mojo gets through. 3v1. You hope this scores. And yes, they score the first of the half. That was a really nice slip by I Am A God by the, the Green Gates. Barely got past them. Picks up. Yeah, but uh, great job by Mojo, so. Great adjustment. When you're running that's a very nice diamond logo. Nice boost by Slum Man 7. He's coming up the right side. It's only got one in base. They can block arrow and Oh, I Am A God sneaks in. Didn't, didn't block left. Now there's four, four in base. Four. Yep. Power-ups are coming back. Let, power up. yep, let's see if uh, how they maneuver around for getting some power-ups. Mojo picks oh. up picks up one. Some man seven still staying alive in close quarters, but make some make it to grab. Oh, oh. oh. what? That is a wrong time for that to happen, and he almost gets away again, but just gets tagged. That was that was pretty rough for some man seven. He was uh he was by the middle gate when a rolling bomb fund and rolled right past it unfortunately. Went to that make and bacon cap. Always a sad thing to see. Arrow makes a nice move on Turd Ferguson. Cranapple's He's out. there to let him through. It looks like we've got Cranapple going on offense this game. He's playing contain on arrow. Let's see if Turd Ferguson can come up to come down and sh uh, help and shut him down. Some man seven, everybody gets together. Have we reached a consensus on how to say uh, PB set? Ooh, arrow. Name? Oh, arrow almost pulls off the throw ball boost. That was very nice by arrow on court. Unfortunately for him, though, some man was there for the, the well timed return. Yeah. Very nice seeing throw ball embrace uh, the name of a boost named after himself. Oh, yeah. You know, <laughs> you do what you gotta do. All the, uh, all the greats have signature moves. Who was it? Steve Austin. Of course, with some great ones. Ray Mysterio Jr. Third Ferguson. Fuses <laughs> and Cran Apple gets the kill. All right. He's got an opening, and he's through. Third Ferguson. Make that block, turn. You can do it. And he does. Plenty of time. Some man doing it. It took a while to get into position, but some man, very, very intelligent, patient play, maneuvers around the guy. Oh, Mojo. Nearly got that, but uh, hit that boost at the wrong angle. He only had one to job by a ball putt to get up into the base. Yeah, when you say wrong angle, that was, uh, I mean, absolute worst angle, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the one right into the gate. Arrow with a rolling bomb gets a grab. He's coming into base. Let's see if he can make something happen here. He's playing patient. He knocks his guy off. Bird Ferguson is the last line. Stays on him. Oh, Mojo comes in a little too fast there. Both teams showing very, very patient play on offense, which is uh, essential on a map like Colors. I Got thought it. for sure the Davro was so close to uh, to the defense. I didn't know how he stayed alive for that long. Some man did have three beats, but he let I the guy get up ahead of him. Really? Oh, boost what a number. Nice. Phenomenal boost. boost. Yeah. Wow. Really almost clipping that, uh, that wall tile where the boost is. 
the colors boost, you kind of have to set them up to get what you need. You know, if you catch the top half or the bottom half or the left half or the right half, that's pretty essential. Ooh, Cran Apple sends his opponent back to base, but can't hold the button for his own man. So man seven gets away, and it's a good thing, too. He, he better, alive, yeah. he needs to stay alive badly here. He sees that juke juice and wisely foregoes it because he didn't want to corner himself. Very disciplined play by some man. I've seen some good, uh, good execution by him. And some good, uh, good mental understanding of his position. Crabapple's really taking the role of, but oh, Arrow gets past Mojo still in the top, uh, top right corner. It's some great oh, moves by him. Yeah, unfortunate boost there. Block. Finds with the bacon. Bacon chases it down. Good play. Oh, Mojo sneaks through. He's gonna have to run back, knowing that the opponents are gonna spawn on the other side of him. The Mojo, yep, with a nice do, boost. So they can block arrow. They need that return. Oh, 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 why was that not a cap? Sitting on the flag tile, for some reason it didn't it didn't recognize it as a cap, and I'm a god gets the cap size. Some man seven does some delay work, but it's not enough. Wow, and it turns out to be a, a two cap swing. Oh, oh some man. He had a cap there if he had made it through. That just misses his boost. Yeah, Crabapple's really to roll of a buttonhole through this game. I'm sitting on that button for quite a while. Seen him make some a couple crucial button plays. All right, and we've got a reset. Arrow, making a power-up run, gets a juke juice. I'm so not trying to get boxed out by Cran, so Man 7 with it. Got two to beat. And he's up to three now. Pulling in his crazy boost tricks again. They're trying to snipe him, but he's dodging bullets. Got three blocking two. Needs to go. Now's the time to go in. Yeah, there's a point where patience uh, might be a little too much. Oh, this could be something here. Oh, if Crank can get that return. Oh, oh, I am a god again. That's the second time that he's there for that uh, last second return. I don't know just to get out, but uh, they're returning before he completely gets out of base. Great effort by Arrow in there, staying alive in that corner, not letting himself get caught. Yeah, that was a great job. So man 7 gets that juke juice at 07. <laughs> I am oh god, a nice grab. This is kiss territory. <laughs> oh no. So man 7 wisely turns back around. We've still got a tie game with less than 3 minutes on the clock. Oh, some man 7 should not be alive right now, but somehow. Makes his oh way through. If I can keep them off the mid. Oh. 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 He gets through and gets a nice snipe now. That was fantastic teamwork. Arrow on the button, beacon with uh, the pass of the button. Oh, come on. Oh. Come on, Mojo. There you go. <laughs> that was almost as as the Soviet yeah, Ballers, right but. Uh, some awesome blocks by Cranapple and some man seven managed to secure the cap. They might get another one here. Terry Ferguson's coming in the base. Got a lot of pursuers. Mojo with a regrab though. This is always a tough situation. Cranapple, uh, Cranapple with Tag Pro. He needs to go in there and kill some of those people. Oh, oh and he no. Runs out. Let's see if they can make something of it. Blocks. Oh. Nice way to get by that first one, but it's just been clutch for Ball, but he's done a really good job. Oh, he's the oh, Turd Ferguson shuts him down. That was a close, nearly a four beat situation. Why did some man seven die there? Three beat. Oh, oh, oh that's a Arrow tries too tight a turn and spikes himself. Mojo is past three. Turk's gonna Let's see if Turk can use that rolling bomb for a block. Oh, I am God definitely showing he's uh, pretty clutch. Yeah, he's, he's anything made less. several plays like that throughout the game. Nice boost by Turk Ferguson trying to catch up to Macon Bacon. 
It did just to push him downwards towards Mojo still, and that's a return. Grand Apple's now playing 1v2D and needs some blocks. Let's see if he can make a crucial play here. Oh, he just might. Oh, beautiful yes. block. Great job on uh, Sylvia Ballers. Grand Apple gets a return and then blocks so his guy can cap. They're showing why they put him in important positions. Yeah, you know, that was as much uh, some man's some man sevens uh, fault as it was Grand Apple's. I mean, he maneuvered himself around so that uh, Arrow was in a perfect position to be blocked. Got 15 seconds, so one last go at it for both teams. Uh-oh, Arrow, if he can... Oh, that's unfortunate. It looks like he might have had a cap there if he had gotten on the spike. He was behind everybody. Right. And a good showing for the Soviets. Some man seven. seven at the top. He's got three captures, and uh, that patient play gives him three and a half minutes of hold time. I see Cran Apple second on there with that support, though. It's much from blocking as it was holding the gate. Yeah. 68 support points. Wow. My goodness. <laughs> right. It's really Five. remarkable that uh, the. the oh, I forget what their full team name is, but I'll just call them OD Balfa. It's remarkable that they've been able to compete at such a high level against uh, a team like the Soviet Ballers. They, um, they've they lost two of their top players recently, S and Fabio have gone to the uh, the minor leagues. And they're still able to perform at uh, such top level. Yep, that's that's what you call a deep bench. Absolutely. I've heard only glowing remarks from, uh, from Rambo and Ebola about uh, how deep the team is. Of course, they've could be some bias, you know, they're, they're the captains, but it looks like they have a, a lot of confidence in Odi Balfa. Absolutely. In the comments here, we've got uh, Nikram Yoga and Train talking about um, a, a, a kind of variation in strategy that the Soviets did that time. Instead of uh, trying to spread world uh, communism through armed resistance and constant button use, they were a little bit more selective on the button. And it seemed to have paid off for them in that second game. In the first game, just Nads, you missed it, but they had a guy permanently perched on button. Sometimes even staying there when a when a power up was right nearby him. I saw a power up or two get uh, get stolen, but it looks like they made Cran Apple their one of their primary button guys, and he seems to have an awareness of the whole field that's making him a, a little bit more effective in that position. Yeah, again, uh, I mean, sixty eight support. He was he was constantly perched on that button. I don't know if. Uh... Again, I didn't see the first game, so I don't know how often they were on the button. But uh, 68 support is uh, is a ridiculous number. Let me put it this way. Uh, Nick Ram Yoga was there earlier, and when he he left the game, uh, some I think it was in the first half, and somebody suggested, and I thought it was possible, that he got kicked for AFK. He was, he, <laughs> oh my god. Because he was hanging out on that button. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and it's, it's crucial. I mean, you can make good work with that button, but otherwise playing 3v4 looks pretty hard. So it looks like we're going to see a substitution for the Soviet ballers. Mojosto is going to sit sit in, uh, in place for DJ Khaled. Right. DJ Khaled. You always know when it's a DJ Khaled song. <laughs> Him. Let's see. Mike Jones. A name check quite a bit. And also, shout out to my boy Fresh. You'll always know when Fresh is in your channel. <laughs> Soviet Ballers, are they ready? Aaron Apples, they are ready. I think we, f I think we failed to grasp a, uh, a very easy pun opportunity for DJ Call. I mean, DJ Ballad. Oh, you still know who he's talking about. And, uh, I mean, there's one letter. Yeah, they're one off. Although I never, I never see a BH way to begin. Although, yeah, I mean, trust me, I'm a fan of, of ball puns. That would be a nice one to see. Looks like we're gonna get the uh, the last half of the game started here. Again, we have a score of five to three for the Soviet Ballers. That is right. Coming in with a two-goal lead, although on colors, you can see pretty high scores on this map. Caps can happen pretty quickly. I think the difference uh, differences in tiles between both flags is only uh, about 20 different tiles. Three, two, Providing you get to one. that middle, of course. 
whole lot Here of uses and rolling bombs, not a tank row to be found. What a stark contrast to last game. <laughs> I think that's exactly the same word that you used to start the last game. Let me see a theme here. Arrow lifts. Turd Ferguson isn't able to get off the, on the button. I'm a god gets out. But there's no flag home. Some N7 carrying it. Again, a very patient player decides to uh, avoid the hustle and bustle. Berg Ferguson doing a nice job uh, giving him an opportunity to escape with the block there. Making bacon happens to uh, get there in time and gets the return. Arrow's in base right now. He's got three to beat. Let's see if they can lay down some blocks. Decides to go for a walk instead. Yep. Probably a wise thing to do. All right, we've got power-ups coming up. Let's see which team is going to have an advantage with it. You would hope that Balfa, uh, having the flag, is going to be able to isolate a bit more, but it looks it looks like it went pretty even. Making Bacon picking up a nice tag pro. I am God, poised for a nice re-grab with a uh, rolling bomb. Arrow, assistant, nice boost. This would be the time for a return. Oh, so Man 7 gets away from making bacon. I'm a god. Gets his re-grab, but unfortunately his tag pros run out. Pzeb in there with the tag pro. Yep. Scares him away. Makes it very easy. Very easy cap. Is that how we say that name? Pzeb? 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 When you make a, a, a name that's uh, hard to pronounce phonetically or hard to understand, you gotta understand when people mess it up all the time. I'm looking at you, Nikram Yoga. <laughs> Arrow did a great job of maneuvering his way around those boosts. Call it with the Trollball boost for the return. Great job. The defensive wow. Trollball. Excellent, call it. That was a great job. I'm sure Arrow wasn't uh, wasn't thinking that could happen. Yeah, usually when you think you're on the other side of that two block, that you know they're not going to have a boost chance at you. But Callage, uh, knowing why he might be called Trowball Junior for the rest of the game. <laughs> All right, I'm pretty good looking. Two D two O strats going on right now. Arrow gets away. And unfortunately, no mid, that's a very bad tactical error there. They spent so much time on that button and they didn't get it when uh, when it was pretty necessary right there. All right. I am a god, an amazing job of uh, preventing the Soviet bombers from getting to that button. Ooh, Turk Ferguson gets turned around by the god. Wow, he's past three? So you can turn around? Yes, he can make it around the corner, but gets caught in that top, uh, top wall. Pick up a juke juice, but he's cornered here. Oh Thank my Crows goodness, now. makes it past Terry Ferguson. Wow, luckily DJ called his there to clean up the return, but that was, an, a, that was a great deke. Ooh, Arrow couldn't quite see the shadow with his uh, flag pro. It happens. Got him closed off. If Ped Zeb can hurt Turd Ferguson. Ooh, Turd Ferguson let a man wow. out and now gets out himself. Great job. He spent an extended period of time uh, a pixel away from getting returned. That was, that was quite impressive. I love the pixel perfect ones. So man seven. <clears throat> Taking his usually his typical usual leisurely walk towards base. <clears throat> Stays alive. He's got three to beat. Let's see if he can do anything. Oh, I'm a god closes the door on him. Grand Apple Something. now with a chance, although he might have three in front of him by the time he gets here. Turd Ferguson setting up for a block or a re-grab? No, this this could be a big play here. Oh, Arrow closes it down. We're seeing some great offensive defense on uh, on both sides. Making Doesn't bacon. Look like making bacon's gonna get out of this. Oh, it's he... a move on Turd Ferguson, but yeah. Apple still sitting at that choke. Finally gets the return. <laughs> yeah, Arrow was pretty far away. He had to walk a hundred tiles to mess with that button. It's a grab, oh, but Turd is aware. Shuts him down. Quick enough to nullify that juke juice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, juke juice only helps when you're accelerating, not when you're at full speed. Right. 
I'm a god with some nice tag pro use there. These arrows got a tag pro lead. I'm a god. But Let's he dropped the lead block. Yeah, he was going to lose that tag pro anyways. Arrow, making some small moves. Some man seven. Let's see if they can get a block here. I'm a, I'm a god setting up for re-grab. Ooh, but Turk Ferguson makes a ballsy, ballsy grab. Oh, but he does get caught. I'm a god. Give doesn't grab the tag pro so that he can have an offensive chance and oh this looks like a good one tag pro and base you got numbers oh i'm a god unfortunately can't can't uh, stay close to the flag there you know what would have been really nice there just nats for his positioning coming in what would have been nice there trow ball a trow ball boost <laughs> there's, there's no bad time to do a trow ball boost, please you can do it offense you can do it defense it's versatile you can do it just to make the commentators react. Absolutely. We were going on a, a bunch of Soviet trivia and puns earlier, too, so that's the pun of the game. All right. Wow, we are still at a tie game right here. Oh, you're right. The uh, OD ball bus from the times. You know, only three and a half minutes left. At this point, uh, making Bacon is the top of the scoreboard with seven returns. Yep. They make a good defensive team, P7 making bacon. They do. I mean, guy gets a nice grab. Let's see if Turk Ferguson gets the boost return. Hits the wall, and he's behind two. They can set up okay. some blocks. This might be the go ahead cap. Turk Shut Ferguson down. executing all the blockers with that attack, bro. Great job by him. Ooh, but he goes just a little too close and makes it a flag, bro. Some man seven <laughs> gets out, three beat. Let's see if, if Turk Ferguson and DJ can make a good block here. Not great, but good enough. Soviet ballers take the lead. Cran Apple. Apple. Wow. Fa fast moves for Cran right there. Gets so close to that gate, still stays alive. Goes for that uh, rolling bomb in the top right, takes his time coming back to base. Let's see if he can make something out of this. Nice two. Oh, can't quite finish it off. Arrow again, just so perfectly positioned. So man, seven, defense. three. Let's see if making Bacon can shut him down. Ooh, around that spike. Oh, they've got a... Triple block? Oh. Arrow's getting mauled in the corner. Oh, they still got a chance, though. Plenty of time here. You better like do it before the tag pro shows up, though. Kind of oh. looks like that old amoeba play on the engine. And making Bacon shuts him down. So man, seven. You want to go aggressive. Oh, great save. Cranapple's got to get out of base. I'm a god has the rolling bomb. This is very important for Cranapple to stay alive for a good while now. I'm a god shows he's a very capable flag carrier. And with the tag pro, he's even more deadly. Great job by Cranapple. DJ's got to get on the other side of him before they even attempt something. Oh, and the gate mishap. The worst kind. Grand Apple. He hasn't grabbed the flag wow. too much. I think in the last few games, he's just had a few grabs, but he's done it a bit more today, and he's shown he's still got skills for it. Holy sh... My oh goodness. my he's making goodness. He's not a lot of nice moves. Let's see if he goes to that rolling bomb bottom left. He does. He followed closely. Making bacon. Oh. He fuses it and can't quite get through. Cell Man 7 with a grab. Though. Let's see if he can pick up that rolling bomb nearby. Ezeb sees it too, won't let him have it, takes it away. Oh, this looks nice of some man seven. Yes, and he does. Great move, fast making bacon. And the Soviet ballers go up by two with a minute left. Prophecy, perhaps? <laughs> making bacon, defensive player. I'm a god, gets the re-grab. Ooh, turd, hits him. And another Crap. one for the cram. A little insurance cap there. Yeah. Uh, I thought foolishly went into the bottom left corner, but he picked up a juice juice and managed to get past the arrow with that little uh, speed burst of acceleration. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they believe in it. They play a very uh, strated. Ooh, Cran with another one. Great combo block there. Oh. Turd for jumping in this game this half, he's shown a pretty good sense of awareness and good chemistry with his teammates. Three, two, some man seven stays alive. 
Well, the game is going to end with uh, Cranapple finding himself on top of the scoreboard. You know, this scoreboard is completely different from what we saw three and a half minutes left. It was 2 nothing for Odie Balfa at that point. And uh, in those three and a half minutes, Soviet Baller scored four caps and uh, completely took over the game. A great effort by the Soviets, even though their uh, economic system doesn't incentivize high production. <laughs> the captain Luke Mu doing a doing a great job of shuffling the lineup, giving giving his team this the optimal chance of winning, and uh, he got results. Yeah, uh, great play by the Soviets. They end up uh, finishing strong, unlike the actual Soviets. And just as Luke Mu predicted. They always lose their first game and win the seconds. Soviet yeah. does it again. Cursed to be 4v4. Although I think in uh, in the NLTP, I believe the top six teams move on. So as long as you have, as long as you bat 500, you're going to the playoffs. And there, anything can happen. No ties and uh, ties and elimination tag, bro. Um, let's bring in somebody from the from the victorious team. Maybe um, I want to. Cran Apple had some good moves in that last game, so I want to get him while it's still fresh in his mind. <laughs> All right, aggregate score thirteen thirteen. Thanks for the shout out, Pithy. Wow. River Horse, I believe it's top six from each division get onto the playoffs. Although I could be wrong, somebody should ask PK or one of our other friends. Oh my god, there's even a stay tuned for interview screen. <laughs> Swing does a phenomenal job with these. He does. Which is, uh,. I don't know. He just recently picked up um, picked up streaming, so it's kind of surprising that he's able to uh, make it so professional so quickly. So are we gonna get uh, Cran Apple here? Cran Apple, another uh, red thing to go with the Soviet motif. I'm sure that was taken into consideration when Luke Mu drafted him. Got to be thinking red. Got to be thinking about proletariats that are going to, you know, put in. Not too many players of the bourgeois inclination in the Soviet ballers. I don't see too... I just sent him a message. Let's hope he comes up. I wonder if the Soviets do a, a, a lot of team praising, or if they're really more of a standout thing. Well, they certainly did have a central command telling them to stay on that button. Oh yeah. All right, who's ready to be interviewed? Who do we got? Hello. All right, so we're joined by Cranapple, um, a guy who, in the, the first half of the second game, spent most of the, most of his time sitting on a button, and uh, <laughs> then decided to score a couple caps. Great job! Um, yeah. How did you guys uh, turn it around in the second half? I'm not sure. I think we were just uh, feeling good, and you know, getting the momentum of excitement going. I try to I try to spice it up with some some pep talk you know 
Like Ferguson has a good name. But I try to say that as much as po- possible to get people to start laughing and having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Just having fun, of course. Yeah. Great thing about Tag Pro. Yeah, yeah, how did you go did. from essentially doing nothing? I mean, you were on the button for the whole game. Well, they hate that defensive button holders have feelings too. <laughs> well, it was kind of defensive, but it was pretty fun to just sit on the button. Yeah, you were having a jolly good time with it. Oh yeah, kind of fun. Get to watch the world go by, but you were definitely you kept some uh, some jukes and some flag carrying in your bag for when it was needed. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm sometimes a secret weapon of, uh, of excitement and, and some jukes. They never expect it, so that's always good. Secret weapon of excitement. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That is a great way of putting it. <laughs> yeah, you know, explosions come out, and, and they don't expect it. They're, you know, that's pretty much the whole game, is getting people off guard and doing stuff unexpected. Absolutely. Explodes on the scene like Chernobyl. <laughs> So, um, Luke Moo alerted us to a little trend that you guys have over at uh, the Soviet Ballers, by you always lose the first game and win the second. Yep, that's how it goes. Do you consider that a curse or a blessing? It's probably a blessing, because we know we're going to win the next one, and we're kind of just relax and have a good time, so maybe that's part of it, just the placebo effect of, of kind of like, okay, well, we're going to win this one, so, you know, you might as well just have a good time. You know you're going to win the second one, so the first is just a freebie, right? Yeah, the first is just kind of, you know, it's a little depressing yeah, at first. The, but. the first is just like, we'll win it if we play really well. We play good, but not enough, not well enough to win it. So we're like, okay, well, we're, we're going to win this, so let's just have fun. Yeah, and I think we tied the first half of the uh, first game, so I think we were just trying to sustain that tie and at least, you know, <laughs> get on top in the second half, but it didn't really work out. All right. Well, again, great job by uh, by Soviets. You guys were uh, game was all tied up with three minutes left, and you managed to uh, work your way back. Very good job. Thanks. That was fun. I think we're gonna drag some uh, OD Bafa guys in here. Cool. Should I? I should leave, huh? Yeah, we'll let you get back to the party in the uh, locker room. Okay. Yeah, I got some snapping tiles for Toy. He's got some. <laughs> he's got some Poigason coming. Hey, Tord, he he jumped in and he played really well jumping in like that. I was I was impressed. Oh no, kidding! Why is he? Um, let's see if he's play was playing majors before. He just what, couldn't get uh, the time together or. Yep, yep. Colors is an old map too though, right? It's been around for a, a bit. Oh yeah, he definitely showed his experience there. How'd you guys end up finishing yesterday's swing? Um, miners. It was a close one. Oh yeah, you guys swept, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Tile Blazers had their way with us too, I believe. Oh, okay, okay. So many tile puns now. That's the new thing for season five. Spears, some of all spears. Tears for spears, yeah. No, what was that? Burn, burn it down? Burn it down? Swing, man. It's not a good idea. Why would I do that? It'll... what? It'll prevent the next world war? Well, if you say so. Alright. Alright, we bring somebody in from the other side. Where'd just Nads go?
Okay, great. Well, there's something for each team to be happy about today. I think uh, we saw some good moves by both. Hey, what's going on? So we have uh, Arrow and Megan Bacon from uh, OD Balfa right here. Um, do you guys mind uh, reminding us what the full name of your team is? Operational Detachment Balfa. Operational Detachment Balfa. Okay, that's that's got to have the record for the longest name in Sacro history. It doesn't <laughs> fit on the spreadsheet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I think there's actually a well. reason for that. They did that for a reason, <laughs> just for fun, to be a, a little bit of uh, past in a way. <laughs> Yep. Well, in row or sorry, in row twenty, it definitely throws off the my gorgeous spreadsheet. So for that, <laughs> you have you have drawn my ire. All right. Well, great. Well played, you guys. I saw each of you making some great moves, holding down D, Bacon, Arrow. I saw some phenomenal returns for you and some good some good jukes. You guys feel pretty happy about the results you ended up with today. <laughs> I personally wish it was better, um, but to be honest, they, they played very well. They made some adjustments after the first match, and uh, I mean, they deserved it. We got a little flustered in the second game. I can only speak on my behalf, but uh, they played well. They played very well. Yeah, I was definitely, I definitely pretty angry after that second game, but they, they definitely deserved the win in that second game, so. Oh yeah, were you guys a little bit surprised when Cran Apple was there grabbing the flag? Did you know what to expect? I mean, when we were chasing chasing the flag carrier, we knew that the regrab was there. Um, a few times, I popped myself just so I could get back on D quicker, yep. uh, just to prevent it. But I mean, uh, they they managed when uh, a few times, whenever two other guys on O would uh, pop and they would respawn. One would grab the button, the other would boost right into our base. So within a matter of seconds, they were right back in our base. Just yeah. Group. Yeah, it's hard thinking that you uh, that you got away only to deal with the same guy you just beat uh, to grab the flag. But you guys yeah, made right. some yeah, you guys made some uh, pretty aggressive blocks. And um, how did you feel you did with power up control? <laughs> the first half in both games, uh, we definitely. We started off with it and then we forgot about it because we were getting frantic because we were losing. And then uh, second half, at least in the first game, for sure, we definitely kept a good eye on them. Yep. And I think it was the exact opposite in the second half of the second game that I think they dominated us in uh, power of control. And I think that I gave them another edge that they didn't really need. <laughs> One thing we noticed up here uh, spectating was that in some of the games it was just a ton of rolling bombs and then in other times we saw just flights on flights of tag pros. Did you guys, I mean it's hard to practice for six tag pros being out on the field. Do you guys feel uh, prepared and know what to do? Yeah, uh, there was, that map is definitely fun that way with a lot of uh, a lot of tag pros all over the place and I know a couple times I'd see like all four of them with a tag pro and that's just something you gotta avoid and it's pretty scary seeing that actually <laughs> and even going back on defense after a, a return by their base you're rolling by and you see a rolling bob in the upper corner you can only shout it out to your teammate hopefully that they get it because it's not worth it to uh to try to go up and grab it yourself if you're playing defense and then they're gonna if our teammates not gonna get it then they're gonna just get another rolling bomb and we have to try to pop it quick yeah, yeah, then you have to see it back at your base. <laughs> Not a ton of fun. Well, it's still a, a very, very good game played by both of you guys. I think um, a lot of the NLTP didn't give you guys due credit after Fabio and S left, but clearly you guys are still up up there with the best teams. Um, taking one away from the Soviet ballers is no easy task, so congratulations on that. Thank you, and uh, just trying to gel still. Uh, and with time, I think we're just going to get better, so... Yeah, we miss Fabio and S, so... Yeah. They were definitely two great parts of our team, and it's, it's, it was sad to see them go, but we have to get over and regroup. Plus, we haven't practiced, uh, the four of us now, the current top four, we haven't really practiced, versus uh, when Arrow, Fabio, S, and I, we would practice fairly often, so... Okay, well, um, good luck in the following weeks, and uh, practice! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Going, yeah. Thank yeah, you thanks, so much. Take care, Good guys. job, guys. Uh, see ya.
So I think we're gonna get ready to uh, wrap up the stream here. Any final words, Troball, Swingman? No, uh, I just want to say thanks to all the viewers at home. You you are why we do this. So um, always entertaining uh, Twitch chat. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, Twitch, please. <laughs> and so I guess we'll go for our, uh, our sign off phrase here. Say it with me, Troball. <laughs> I'll let you handle it this, this week. <laughs> All right, have a good night. Thanks for watching the stream and swing that big dick. <laughs>